First at five, new details are emerging now after that deadly shooting during the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Leah McClain. I'm Paul Folger. Police say two juvenile suspects are in custody after one person was killed and nearly two dozen others were hurt yesterday. Preliminary investigative findings have shown there was no nexus to terrorism or homegrown violent extremism. This appeared to be a dispute between several people that ended in gunfire. Of the 22 hurt, we're told at least half are under the age of 16, the youngest just six years old. Eight victims are listed as critical, seven are serious. Our Eric Shalou is live in the newsroom with reaction from some who were there, including a woman from right here in the Twin Cities, Eric. Yeah, Paul and Leah, we're hearing today from Minnesotans who were in Kansas City for that Super Bowl celebration to a Chiefs player who helped comfort a scared child to a couple who helped detain one of the suspects. Kansas City, Missouri police say the two suspects in custody are juveniles and that a dispute led to the gunfire. Rachel Contreras from Egan celebrated the Chiefs Super Bowl win down in Kansas City Wednesday. The vibe was just so electric and fun. Gunfire erupted outside of Union Station where crowds gathered after the parade. Contreras and her friends had left the area before the shots rang out. That's all we've been thinking about. We've just been putting two and two together how close it was. Nearly two dozen people were injured, half of the victims under the age of 16. One of our friends that we were with all day, that is when he got a call from his family. Contreras says her friend learned his cousin, Lisa Lopez Galvin, a popular radio DJ, was fatally shot. I heard that, uh, get him. Trey Filter recalled hearing those words before seeing a man running past. Uh, we were pretty elated once we knew we had him. Uh, and they started yelling that there's a gun, there's a gun. Um, so we were pretty steadfast in holding him down there. We tackled him. His wife, Casey, grabbed the gun. It looked like a toy, but then once I picked it up, I quickly realized it definitely was not. KCMO police feel a dispute between several people sparked the shooting. It's okay, this is not a joke. It's a life or death situation. Chiefs lineman Trey Smith, along with other players and fans, took shelter in a closet during the gunfire. Smith had been wearing a WWE belt during the parade, gave it to a young boy to comfort him as they waited for the all clear. I just handed him the belt. Hey, buddy, you're the champion. No one's going to hurt you. As Contreras drove back to Minnesota, her heart is with those back in KC. I mean, right there, it, it's just really, it's really scary. It really, um, I don't even know how to process it yet. I also spoke with a Plymouth woman who was there too. In the middle of it, when the gunfire erupted, she was not hurt. She told me she's upset about what played out. Meanwhile, police found several guns in the area as they continue to investigate. At this point, no charges have been filed. Live in the newsroom this afternoon, Eric Shalou, 5 News.